I'm so excited to meet Tony Montuano. I really hope that he's able to unify my family over a delicious and healthy dish that we can have repeatedly that becomes sort of a family night meal for all of us. I'm Victoria Phillips. I am a lifelong Chicagoan. I work full time. I'm a mom of two kids. They're also picky eaters, so I'm typically trying to grab something quick out of the freezer for them. You know, I'm making chicken nuggets, or I'm making mac and cheese, or you know, frozen pizzas, not great stuff. And then it's time for my husband and I to eat. So we do this sort of second dinner service every night where we try to make more of a real meal and you know, make fresh food. The situation at work is also challenging. We have food at work constantly. It is so stressful to make two meals every night. It's, it's not healthy for anyone. We're eating super late. We're not making the best choices. We're not eating together as a family. Being selected for this show is so important because it signals a change in our lives. It means a new way of eating, a healthier way of eating. It means bringing our family together on a daily basis to enjoy food. I'm Chef Tony Montuano and I'm owner of Spiaggia. By cooking Italian food and using Italian food as your base for how you cook, I think we cook pretty healthy to begin with. Great cooking has a soul, always. There's that part of Italian cooking that's becoming very popular, is that sort of elevated, like let's take the origins of this cuisine and let's sort of reinvent them and modernize them. I grew up in a part Italian family. I have a, a deep love of food. What I'd love to get out of this experience with Tony is to learn healthier ways to make foods that I like and also how can I get the kids to eat vegetables. So I'm looking forward to cooking with Victoria and showing her just how easy it is. So the idea here is that we're gonna make this delicious enough for everybody. So much of what we do when we cook is based on ingredients and also the equipment, like you have to have a great saute pan. That alone makes your life simpler. Today we're gonna to cook a seared salmon and we're gonna place it on top of a pasta tomato zucchini salad. The size of the portion of pasta is very, very important. As they do in Italy, we try to do the same thing here at Spiaggia where pasta is its own course. And al dente is really important when it comes to dry pasta, it just seems to be a lot more healthier. We have some cherry tomatoes. How do you feel about using this fancy Italian tomato knife? I would love to use a tomato knife. <laughs> the other part of the recipe is mm -hmm. the zucchini. We can do this in sections, which makes it a little bit easier to handle. You add garlic. Pro right there, <laughs> smashing garlic. I don't know what my kids would think about this. It's definitely a foreign thing to them, and so they may question, what is this stuff in here? So let me ask you this, how much fun would it be for your son to smash a garlic clove, you know, a wooden spoon or something? Great idea, yeah. involving them in anything, even involving right. them in choosing ingredients and open them up. And then we're gonna throw some basil leaves. You tear it. I do, the family that tears together stays together. <laughs> so now a little bit of dried oregano, a little bit of sea salt, add some pepper. That is a serious pepper grinder. Yeah, designed by Italians for Italians, this pepper <laughs> mill, so. Now that those ingredients are in there and they're starting to mingle, we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. First, you wanna buy fresh. How long do you think it lasts? Oh, I mean, I probably have bottles that are a year old. Yeah, that's not gonna <laughs> You gotta okay. go home and throw those away okay. because they're not good. So what, a couple months? <laughs> I think three months. And then we're gonna add a little bit of vinegar. Oh. Go ahead and give that a stir sure. and mix everything up. So let's now cook the pasta, the zucchini, and the fish. Sounds great. We're going to cook the zucchini, and we're going to cook it for like three or four minutes, just until it's sort of tender. Now we're going to go ahead and cook the pasta, the orecchiette, which means... Little ears. Exactly. <laughs> so while the pasta's cooked, could actually saute the fish. We take a little bit of our extra virgin olive oil, more of our sea salt, pepper. Sure. Cooking fish is scary. Yeah. This is easy. Non-stick pan, important, and this is nice and hot, and so the fish is going to go right in. Let that sear for a few minutes. I'm sort of on high right now. I need to check the pasta. That's a really good time to pull it out because okay. it will continue to cook. A little bit of the water. Oh, uh, yeah. So, 
Oh, it looks pretty good, right? Let's plate it. All right. The fish, which should be beautifully browned. That looks amazing. Look at the color on that, and it smells incredible. And then we're going to add it right to the pasta, garnish with some fresh basil. The ease with which you put this together, the time it took, I can definitely fit this in between coming home from work and bedtime. Before you thank me, we should try it. It's so simple, so few ingredients, yeah. yet so flavorful. It's a lot of food. It looks a like a good amount of yeah. food. And it's yeah. healthy. Italy conquers all. I'm Catherine Gunya. I am going to be your personal coach from Weight Watchers. So nice to meet you. I completely understand when you have two children and you're working, you just are trying to get everybody fed. Right. right. Tell me a little bit about how your hunger levels are by the time you eat at 9.30 at night. Usually ravenous. I relate to that so much. Both of my children were small when I lost my weight with Weight Watchers. I'd be super excited when they left some food on the plate because then I would finish it and that would kind of just help hold me over. The habit of under eating completely supports the habit of overeating. Start to bring some of those healthy snacks to work and then that will help you manage your hunger plus it'll help you stay away from some of those goodies that you're feeling like you don't want to eat all the time at right. work. Another issue that I have is with portion control. Do you have any ideas or strategies for how to limit and control those portions? Once you take your portion of whatever your main meal is, the rest of your plate, you can fill that with fruits or vegetables and grow your plate because that gives us the quantity that you and I love. That's a great suggestion. All right, Victoria, let's talk about an action plan for this first week. You're going to bring fruits and vegetables with you to work. You're going to grow your plate by adding fruits and vegetables to every meal. I feel like I've learned so much from you and Tony, and this is really going to help change my family's eating going forward. I had an amazing day with Tony. I learned how to make this incredible pasta and salmon dish. How is it, everybody? Super, super good. <laughs> they loved it. I never would have believed my kids would eat vegetables. I never would have believed they would eat fish. We will absolutely have more family dinners now. I am gonna look for more recipes that are similar to the ones that Tony taught me and try to do this at least a few times a week.